guys and welcome back to another vlog. So I actually haven't vlogged in honestly ages, like I'm really sorry about that but like I said in I think my last vlog, I wasn't sure how much I was going to keep up the weekly vlogs because I have them back at work and honestly it's just kind of like the same old things that I'm doing every day. I just kind of fancied vlogging this week. I do have a couple of clips which I'm going to add in now. In Scotland me and my boyfriend are like allowed to properly meet up now and we can kind of start going places again which has been really nice. So we visited this kind of like ruins of a castle which was really really pretty as well as that yesterday we actually went to visit there's this like old kind of bus in a little seaside town that's kind of near me where they serve really really nice food from like I think they own a restaurant uh, but during lockdown they kind of used this old bus and kind of did like a, like a takeaway service kind of thing so we went there yesterday and we had a walk along the beach that was really really lovely so I'm gonna insert those clips from a little while ago now <laughs> guys so i'm just with ryan and we're actually going to like there's like this bus that's been converted where you can like take away food from so we're gonna go there and see if we can get anything really nice so if we do end up getting something nice i'll be sure to show you guys So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been getting up to, but that's kind of been the only really exciting things that have been going on. So this morning, my Look Fantastic order has been delivered. This actually came so quickly. So I'm gonna fill a makeup haul. I have some Boots bits and I have some TK Maxx bits. I went into TK Maxx last week and oh my goodness, I got some amazing deals on makeup. I think that video will probably be up before this vlog, so I will link it down below. I feel really bad because like this is where I film with my things up there and on this stool but put this blanket down for the dogs to lay on and she's like fast asleep and I'm gonna have to move her to film and I just don't think I can bring myself to do it. So I've just finished filming the makeup haul and this is the aftermath. It's always such a mess so I need to kind of tidy everything up. I'm absolutely obsessed with everything I got in the look fantastic order like obviously the boots and TK Maxx I knew what I'd got but I am really sad because I think that the NARS foundation I got it's not my shade like if you compare it to the CYO which is exactly my shade it just doesn't look really as cool toned as I thought it was gonna so I think I've been an idiot there but I will try it and I will see and I'm hoping that it looks all right because at the minute I have been having to darken this up a little bit with darkening drops uh, so hopefully maybe this will be okay. Hey guys so I'm now home from work and I thought that I would try the Neil's Yard night cream that I got um, which will have been in my haul that will already be up on my channel so I thought I'd just test it out and try it on camera give you guys like a first impression. It smells really nice, you get a really good amount in the jar and I love that the jar is glass. I just think products kind of seem a little bit more luxurious when they come in glass. I'm just gonna put a decent amount. My skin's been really dry at the minute uh, and I don't know why. So I'm hoping this is gonna do the trick because it's a nice nighttime moisturizer. Yeah, it feels very thick. It smells very like I'm in a spa, I like that. Yeah, it feels really heavy, but like in a good way, like my skin is drinking it and that it needs it. So yeah, I think so far that gets a thumbs up from me. Hey guys, so it's now Tuesday and I'm actually in the middle of doing my makeup. I just want to pop in and say that this CYO concealer, I know I rave about CYO products so much, no one talks about them. 
everything I've tried from them has been amazing. It's the CYO High Coverage Concealer. This is amazing. I've been using it on my spots. When it says high coverage, it means high coverage. I'd so recommend trying certain. It's so affordable. But yeah, I'm just doing my makeup. I've actually got to go to work soon. I just got up this morning, took the dogs out for a walk. And then I've just been editing my Styling Doc Martens in summer video. If you haven't watched that already, I'd really recommend checking it out because I actually really, really loved how it went, how the edit went. It took me a while to kind of plan what outfits I put together and I haven't really done a fashion video before, so I'm kind of a bit nervous about it, but I'm hoping it'll go down well. This weekend, I might actually go out for a meal because all the restaurants and places like that are opening again in Scotland, which will be really nice if I can do also. I think I'm going to be making a meal from my boyfriend because he did one for me. I still need to like repay the favour and make one for him. So I might also be doing that this weekend. Also, if anyone has any Netflix recommendations, please leave me some because I have just been watching YouTube a lot at the minute. I've really been watching nothing on Netflix. I know they put on season five the last season of people just do nothing so i've been watching that but that's kind of the kind of thing that you can just chuck on and just watch while you're doing other things i kind of want something i can really get into i was thinking about starting is it called white lines i think that's what it's called um if anyone's watched that let me know would you recommend it or if you just have any recommendations please let me know hey guys it's now wednesday i thought i'd just show you my most random lunch ever kind of just using up things I've got lying about but I've got a little salad with rocket, plum tomatoes and some olives, two gherkins because there was a jar that I just wanted to get rid of, it was taking up so much room in the fridge, then some halloumi and some mango chutney on the side, this is probably too much mango chutney but if you have not tried halloumi and mango chutney, oh my god you have to try it, it's the ultimate combo, honestly just amazing. Hello everyone, now properly because all I showed you before was my lunch. But but yeah, as I said, it is now Wednesday and I've had a very lazy morning, to be honest. I have put on a bit of makeup, still haven't used any of my new products because I don't think I'm going to film the testing first impressions video until Saturday because I can't wear like too much makeup at work and I'd want to do kind of a more full on look. So I just don't want to have to do my makeup and then take it off. But anyway, I used the collab... Is that how you say it, Clab? The dry shampoo today, and it smells amazing. I keep getting whiffs of it, and it just smells so good. So I'm really impressed with that. And I think I'm gonna sit here and sharpen all my lip liners with the little sharpener I got from Benefit. And I didn't actually realize that it's a lot better than I thought uh, because it comes with this thing in the middle, which is actually a cleaner, which you can like scrape out product if you get any in, which is just amazing because when I've just used normal sharpeners in the past, they're so annoying to clean when you get product in there. And as well as that, it actually has three different sizes because what you can do is take this one out and then there's like a bigger size in there so this is just amazing and it was actually kind of pretty cheap for being like something benefit i know it's only a pencil sharpener but i'm pretty impressed with everything that it came with i'm not gonna lie hey guys so it's now friday i haven't vlogged for like quite a few days but i've just been doing nothing like just been going to work and then doing nothing else but me and my mum have just been for a food shop and as ever i thought i'd show you like the most interesting things i got i did get quite a lot uh, but i'm not gonna do a full food haul and um, because i used to do them in like my first few vlogs but um, it's mostly just the same so uh, I'll show you what I got that's kind of interesting though I picked up some of these fiber one 90 calorie four carrot cake bars and um, because I need kind of snacks to eat at work I thought these would be perfect and they were on offer and they're only 90 calories so I thought that was pretty good I got to snack on uh, this is semi dried tomatoes and mozzarella snack pot I thought that would be quite tasty I also got some sushi to have tonight uh, I know a lot of people will find shop bought sushi disgusting but I think it's fine and I haven't eaten anything today apart from like a yogurt and a banana this morning so I really need to eat something I got some of these vegetarian katsu curry melts because I really want to try katsu curry from Wagamama's but I'm not going to get to go there for a while so I saw these and thought they'd be nice in a lunch or for dinner after work I got some of the Vivera plant escallops the chicken bites to have in my salad I also got this last week some red pepper and Wensleydale soup this is really really good I love this soup I always have it at uni 
I got my classic drink me chai chai latte mix. Go through this so, so fast. It's really bad because it's 2.39 for a thing. And usually I go through two a week, which is like a fiver a week. So I need to calm it down with that. Um, I picked up some of these, the Saucy Fish Co. Six Cod Croquettes with a punchy smoked paprika center. I thought they sounded really nice and would be, again, something quick and easy to have after work. I've been getting more fish this week. I'm not sure why. Usually I get mostly veggie stuff, but this week I fancy getting some more fish things. I also picked up these two salmon fillets with a sweet chili sauce. These were a bit of a treat because I think they were about four pounds, which is more than what I'd usually spend on something like this, but they just sound really, really delicious. So I'll try them. I got some of the Heck veggie sausages, again, to have in salads for lunch. I've never tried these sausages, but I've heard a lot of people rave on about them, so I thought that they might be quite nice. I got some corn picnic eggs, again, for salads and when I want a little snack because they're just a classic and really, really yummy. And then I also got some tomato and red pepper chutney. I got this to put, uh, again, on my salads because I really, really like my own red pepper things so I thought that'd be quite nice so yeah that's kind of everything I got that is vaguely interesting I thought I would show you guys hey guys so it's now Saturday and today I'm actually making like a three course meal for my boyfriend he's coming around tonight I was meant to be making a curry from scratch but as I didn't have any coconut cream so I actually can't do that but luckily I have some of what I was going to make in the freezer I just kind of thought it would be a bit nicer made from scratch but to be honest it doesn't make that much difference so that is what we're having for like the main um and then the starter I'm going to make I'm planning anyway on making homemade guacamole and homemade salsa and then then I was going to get tortilla chips, but I totally forgot. So we're going to maybe have to use some pop toms as tortilla chips, which, you know, kind of the same thing-ish. It'll be fine. And then I'm going to be making some spicy chicken bites, chicken, corn bites um, as well for the starter. And then for the dessert, I'm kind of doing an option. I'm making like a chocolate tiffin type thing. I'm going to make a lemon drizzle because that's like my speciality. I'm pretty good at making lemon drizzle if I may say so myself. So yeah, that's what I'm going to make. I'm probably not going to film like the actual making process of it all because it could be quite long. I don't really know what I'm doing with a lot of it. We'll show you guys the finished result. Um, I'm hoping it's going to go well. Fingers crossed it'll go well. So I wanted to show you guys this really cool invention that I got in TK Maxx a few weeks ago. Please ignore the absolute state of everything. I'm kind of one of those people that just kind of cooks like everything they have to cook and then cleans at the end but I thought that this was a bit like you know one of those inventions that's not that great but I wanted to try it it's meant to chop up like your tomatoes I'm making guacamole so I've got tomatoes I've already done one that's why it's a bit uh, messy but I wanted to test it I have to do an onion in it I might put my chili in it to do that but just just watch this watch how quick and hassle free this is at managing to cut my tomato I put you down hoping that you can see the tomato in there but just watch this look at that look how easy that was look how pain free that was like it would usually take me forever. I do think with an onion it could be a bit slower. Um, but that's perfect because like tomato and guacamole is chopped up so fine that it's kind of hard to even get it like that. I'm so impressed with this, honestly. Any use of a TK Maxx near you, 10 out of 10, would recommend. So I didn't film me cooking because I was a little bit stressed, I won't lie. But this is the starter that I've made for me and Ryan. So we've got, this is spicy chicken bites. They're made with like soy sauce, um, sesame oil, rice wine vinegar. I made some homemade salsa, homemade guacamole, and we're meant to have tortilla chips, but instead we've got pop -doms. I feel like this is a bit random, but I wasn't sure what else to put with these, in all honesty. And I really wanted to try and make some homemade guacamole, so that's what we've got for the starter. So, next course, you can hear the microwave. I'm sorry, there's rice in there, but I've just got some naan bread, some pop -doms, mayo chutney, and then the curry I'll show you when it's ready. And here is our main. Sorry about all the splatters, it kind of splattered everywhere. Guys, we've just got this Thai curry. Here is Ryan's absolute mammoth portion. Here's my tiny portion because I'm actually not that hungry. So here's what we've got for dessert. I have a bit of lemon drizzle that I made earlier on. And then this like tiffin type thing that I also made earlier on. So yeah, we're going to tuck into this now. So we've just finished our three course meal now. 
Um, I think we're going to go for a little walk, which will be quite nice because I actually haven't been for like an evening kind of sunset walk for a very long time. Um, so that'll be quite nice. But I honestly have such a bad food baby right now. I never eat three course meals. Uh, and even though I did have a pretty small portion for the main, I feel so full. But yeah, we're going to go for a walk now. Might get some nice shots of the river and things like that. So yeah, I might put in a montage next of us on the walk, but I will see. so it's now sunday i am going out for tea tonight i'm so excited like we haven't been out for a meal obviously since lockdown started which was ages ago so that really nice i've just done quite like natural eyeliner i'm testing out the laura mercier um in fact i'll just get it i'm testing this out it's the laura mercier lipstick thing that i got um from tk maxx so it was 90p so i said i wanted to try and get more wear out of it i usually always just wear um news or i'll wear mac world but that's like as far as i venture out in terms of color like i don't know i don't love it but i'm gonna try and make myself love it i've just got my dress on from zara and then i'm gonna put some doc martens on my feet but i haven't put them on yet because this dress is like the perfect dress of kneeling you can blow and it's comfy and it's just perfect so yeah i've gone out for tea and i'm very very excited <laughs> Hey guys, so we're now back from our meal. It was so nice. I had like a pulled pork veggie burger and it was just so delicious. Like the bun was just the right size for the burger, if that makes any sense. Like I feel like with some burgers you go out and it's just so messy, but this was nice. Coleslaw was good, chips were good, just everything was really nice. Then I had a brownie for dessert and it was yummy as well. I've had quite a lot of cheat days this week, so next week I need to get back on it with the eating healthy. But anyway, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been quite like a few random days and random clips thrown together, but I've kind of missed vlogging since I've been back at work, so I thought I'd just throw together a quick vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.